Well, hello everybody, and welcome back after far, far too long to Summer Sea. Now, of all the games I haven't got round to recording recently, this is, I've got to admit, the one I have missed the most. So, let's see what's changed, shall we? It's no longer an early access game. It is a fully released game. Uh, we have 94 Echoes. And... Let's go into London and see... Well, actually, let's go to our lodgings first. See what's changed. Uh, we have a study now. Once your lodgings are large enough to support a study, you can create items such as an ironclad will, a whispering trophy cabinet, or a zong of the Z. Rest in the room. Okay, that lowers our terror. Our terror is fairly low, so let's not bother with that. Still can't purchase a townhouse. Uh, cannot retire, but we can go back to the city. We can't. There's no newspaper to read, so let's go back to the city. Alright, so we go to Admiralty Survey Office, crews, the hire on more crew. Apparently, we can hire on some crew, so we'll look at that in a second. Uh, do we want more crew? Do we want more crew? We don't want more crew. Oh, what's this? This is changed. Alright, unlocked with 10 echo. Unlocked when romance, a child in London is nothing. Unlocked with one times another day, a free evening, we have one. Unlocked with romance, someone back home is nothing. So, we. Okay, it looks like. It looks like that uh, we're going to have family. Okay. Now, we have seven crew. Let's get another crew member. We lost one Terra. We got, oh, we gained three crew. That's not bad. We lost 30 Echoes. A bit more than I was expecting. But, hey, it's not like we aren't going to kill them off when we actually get out there. So let's not worry about that too much. So, oh, what's this? Tutorial. Well, let's see what it has to say. All right. So we've been to these places. We are an acquaintance with the system. This is actually reorganized quite nicely, I think. Um, uh, looks like okay. I think that's a shoot. That that's a count of how many actual game days we've played. Um, proposal from a man of business. Uh, Advertise favor. Antiquary. Oh, okay. All right. Um, we're learning about the man bandage Poswanier. Okay. Oh, this is all looking nice and organized, isn't it? So, in the acolyte's favor, trading. In. All right, that's all looking fun. Uh, your officers, yes, we know. I actually, who, who do we have on at the moment? So we have the wretched Mogger. We have the plausible surgeon. Uh, okay, so they, he's actually our only surgeon at the moment, so we... Gunnery officer... We have this particular chief engineer. As opposed to... The genial magician. So he is Veil 6, Mirrors 3, Hearts minus 1. And she is Veil 6, Iron 3. I think we will stick with Maybe's daughter. And... The Carnelian Exile is our first officer, as opposed to the sigil-ridden navigator, who is mirror six miles three, and she's mirror six pages three. Um, pages. I think we'll stick with pages. Okay. Yeah, because our vowels is actually slightly higher already. Right. Uh, shops. Here you can buy a few. Okay. Um, I'm hoping that since the update they've actually dealt with some of the problems. I was having real problems making money in this game. So I'm hoping they've dealt with that. And the ships. This is new actually, the ship. Stymphalos class steam launch. 
possibly there is a reason you might want to set something to the Z in a boat the size of a dining room table. Possibly. So... Oh, one point of hull, hold capacity five. Uh, looks like that one... Okay, I think the advantage of this tiny little ship is it will sail with one sailor, whereas the one we've got will not. Okay, right, all right, okay, so I think what we need to do here is first of all decide where we're going and then just crack on with it. Okay, so... Um, so we're learning about... Oh, you rapscallion, I'm under suspicion. I have nightmares of 11. I have a recurring nightmare. Station 3... So, um, what do we actually have in terms of stories? Yes, there was one. Though I'm not entirely certain where to find it anymore. Another day of free evening. Let's see if we can find some stuff here. We have three secrets. We can use those to upgrade things. Which is a good thing. At the university and uh, memory of distant source, at the university and in the tomb colonies, they will pay well for stories of far lands. Well, and we have a Z story as well, so we can actually possibly. Okay, let's do this. Let's do this. The memory of distant shores. The alarming scholar is mercurial, to say the least, a creature of sudden moods and provoking teeth. Possibly her? Is it her? Appointment as the University Maritime Liaison was precautionary to keep his? Is it his? Raise a sharp enthusiasm from causing too many injuries in the faculty. Ah, yes, the scholar whispers briefly. I have a budget for acquisitions. What have you brought me? If you have any knowledge items the scholar will buy, they'll appear below. Okay. Wells of emotion, as the alarming scholar listens, tears well in the depths of those shining, or is it blazing eyes? They overflow, splashing onto the desk blotter. Stop! He, she, sobs at last. This is too, too beautiful. Allow me to bring the macaw of memories. I wish each individual tone were called. So we gained a bit of uh, oh, okay. We've gained a bit of favour. We have gained ten echo, and we've lost one memory of distant shores. Okay. Um, might as well get rid of the Z story as well, I suppose. Let's see what we get for it. Difficult dictation. Thrilling. Let me hear every detail. First, I must find my fountain pen. Oh, how regrettable! It has a spider impaled on the nib. Excuse me, let me. Good heavens, it's still alive. Pass me one of the volume. Pass me that volume of Gibbon. There we go. Do you have another pen? Okay, so we've gained one more change point, so we're actually gaining a bit of favour, but not enough to uh, go up another level. Another ten echoes, and we lost the Z story, so uh, that's, that's probably going to work out in our favour in the future, so I'm quite happy with that. No searing enigmas yet, no dread surmise, and no extraordinary implications, so let's just leave. Okay. Um, Venturous Desire, we can't fulfill any of that yet. Okay, and... Right. So, oh, didn't want to do that. I wanted to do that. Let's have a quick look at the map. Oh, the map's changed a bit. Hmm. Okay. I'm not entirely certain I prefer this version. I prefer the old one, I think. But at least we know how big the map's going to be now. And how little we've explored. So. Let's see what we can find. 
I am thinking that we are going to go east back to Station 3, because if I remember right, the last time we were there, there's a possibility of another, st uh, another story there. So let's just do that. And that's going to be fairly easy. We'll just head east. And we'll see where we get from there. And perhaps do a little bit more expl exploration. Okay. Right, let's launch. Yeah, that's getting annoying fast, isn't it? Right. So, let's see what attacks us this time round, shall we? And indeed, if we I can actually remember how to do the combat, which would be good. December 14, 1892. Fed the crew. Regurgitated the crew, fed them again. Bad Stevner's Abyss. That has a name with its teeth, isn't it? Right. It's actually, I think this actually looks, the, the world looks slightly different as well. And I don't remember this. But it might be the fact that I haven't actually seen this uh, this game in a while. It's, uh... When you're far from land, click on the Z-Bat icon. It will search for undiscovered locations nearby. Uh, okay. Please do not have crashed. Back in a minute. Okay, this is more or less where we were. Let's hope the tutorial doesn't get in the way again. Uh, it would be rather annoying if it did, to be honest with you. So, we're still going to head east and we go to station 3. After a short time at Z, a lamp icon will appear. That means opportunities await for you at the next port. Disable tutorial, close that. Sorry tutorial, I'm sure you're very useful, but... I don't really want to be restarting this game every time you pop up. Uh, still... Get going where we're going. And in fact, I'll tell you what, let's cut out at this point. Oh, Shepherd's Wash. A salty hinterland of London. Oh, to... eat. Okay. We have ourselves a challenger. also appear to have the turning speed of a lemur. If you don't think a lemur doesn't have much of a turning speed, try seeing one in, uh, let's see. Why are you just lurking there? Okay. This one. There we go. Right. Took a bit of damage ourselves. not to stop but we will fix that damage up later on Let's see what we want the ship's yours what we do with her loot and scuttle her you have a cash curiosity a firkin of honey it's a firkin firkin. Ah, uh, it's what they call prisoner's honey. Well run by the lamplighter bee from the exile rose. I wonder who made up those names, remarks Abel Seaman Cargett. Someone who read a sight too many books, I'm thinking. Right, so firkin of prisoner's honey, we got something to sell. That's good. So how far off course are we now? 
Let's have a quick look, find out, shall we? Um, you know what? Let's send out a bat. We wanted to do that for a while. So he's gone off. And he's come back. There are no islands within the Z-Bats range. Does that change the map any? None whatsoever. Okay. So, how are you guys doing? Eh? I really appreciate that uh, it's been a long time since we played this particular game. I'm, I'm very sorry about that. It's not from lack of wanting to play it. It's been more lack of finding time to, uh, to play it with all the other things that I want to do. What's that? Jilly Fleur. I think it's also going to be called our next victim. That got him. Okay. Not enough, apparently. Okay. That though was okay. Looks like we're going to need to start learning how to repair this ship again. Okay, what do we got? Jilly Fleur's end. The Jilly Fleur. Is it a young Jilly Flish? A yeser subspecies? Do the dreams of Jilly Flish become real? In any case, now it's a sad slick of goo dissolving into the Z. Can we try to eat it? We let it disperse. Right, what do we? Uh, Unlike survey village, port and port village. Okay, that's it's. It's gone. You're left with gooey gloves uh, and a buttery smell. And this purple thing. Is it an egg? A heart? A less fortunate traveller dissolved and shriveled to mauve ruin. But it's somewhere safe. Okay, we've got a strange catch, which is not bad. Uh, found a few uses for that in the past. Um, if we had more supplies, I would be thinking about uh, doing some repairs now. But uh, this game doesn't throw loads and loads of bats at us anymore, so we don't get supplies that we used to, which is uh, slightly annoying. But here we are back at Station 3. And let's see what we can learn here. Actually, what I'm thinking about, let's send a bat out again. No islands within the Z bats range. Okay. It's a very lazy Z bat. And around we get. Oh, hold on. Go deeper into the nightmare or confront the nightmare. The sea is as bright as milk, full stars above are black on a pitchy bed. Someone is watching you. Its gaze enfolds your boat. You are as transparent as glass. Well, they're all, both almost impossible challenges. So... Um, let's do that one. No further. You're closer. The sea freezes over, but the ice is clear. We've gained a wound. We've lost a restful night. We've gained 24 terror. And our uh, nightmare strength has gone up, and I still think from the bug that we encountered before that it's going to kill us. But uh, my aim is to get a nightmare, um, uh, a ironclad will done before that happens. That's that's something I really want to do. So right, errands for the acolyte uh, inside the little gate. Let's look at the rest of these first. Right, no shipyard, no shops. So let's have a look inside the little gate first. Uh, other acolytes who have seen the buildings. Okay, we'll return later. Back to the dock. Errands for the acolyte. She asks you to keep a night watch on the dump where she throws away the unused heart stuff. And 
She's in search of new music to sing at her work, which is a high risk challenge because of our pages. Let's do this one. Smugglers along the shore. The place proves to be a wide field knee deep in the dark matter. Thousands of hearts worth. Looking too closely at it makes you dizzy. Looking too far away from it makes you a poor watchman. It makes for an uncomfortable couple of hours pacing around the dumping ground, which runs all the way down to the beach. In the last quarter of the watch, there's stealthily movement. A rowboat. Three hooded figures. Okay, we've gained Acolyte's favour. Again, that hopefully is going to give us more stuff to do. So should we challenge them immediately, or should we watch until we know what they're up to. Um, considering there's a 1% difference chance, let's watch and see what they're up to. Sing song in Bishoprics. Bishoprics. Something. They're singing to themselves and carrying lenses of some sort and they know enough to be looking through the most recent part of the pile. It's plain someone's tipped them off about a particularly juicy scandal that has just lately been discarded. From the whis whispers uh, in the dark, you even have some idea what it is. A bishopric in the balance, a secret alliance with the brass embassy. Before they finish their search, you take them by surprise and send them scrambling. They even drop something in the process. We now have one sack of dark drop coffee beans. We've gained two supplies. We succeeded in the, and we've gained 50 fragments. So, that worked quite well, didn't it? Inside the little gate. Okay, so we still cannot do anything in here. And I think we're pretty much done here. So... Let's let's launch. I think we're going to take a big, a wide loop around Station Three, see what we can see, and then I will start heading back towards London, which is giving the time probably going to be in the next episode. But um, if you hold this fifty percent more better, okay. Let's do. Hmm. I'm worried about hitting repair if it makes me run out of supplies. Because I don't actually have that much, so I will try that bit closer to shore. Right, we are in unexplored territory. Let's fire off this bat again. No islands within the Z-Bats range. Well, what's that then? Hmm. Not that much by the looks of it, but that is something new. No land lover would notice the change, but you feel the air prickle on your skin. Somewhere new. Let's have a quick look around these and then we'll head back. A brisk spatter of spay. Spray. The under Z is restless. this look like? Nothing special at the moment, but we've learned a little bit more. Send that bat off again. No, it doesn't seem to be the most reliable of allies. Oh, okay. Right, okay, I think I need to explore a little bit here, to be honest with you. see if we can find out if there's something new in these islands here. Off you go, little bats. Find us something interesting. I said find us something interesting, little bat. Off you go again. Yeah, it looks like these little islands are trying to lead us off to something, aren't they? Uh, 
What are we doing? There's a light over there. Over at the Frankenstein place. Okay, it looks like my, my urge to go exploring is going to take us a little further, I think. So, um, given the time, I think I'm going to end this episode here and say I'm going to try to make this one a regular series again. Because I really do love playing it. It's very atmospheric. The music is fantastic. The story is interesting. So I want to see where this one goes. It's probably going to end in insanity, but hey, I like insanity. So I'm going to say until the next time. I've been Simon Parsons. This has been Sun the Sea. Thank you and good night. Good night.